Hello, welcome back to another Stonksy video where today we'll be covering the latest update available to the Stonksy indicator. So for those of you that have Stonksy that haven't yet updated your indicator, I'll show you exactly how to do that. And we will cover the uh, the update for anyone. Maybe you don't have Stonksy, maybe you're thinking about getting it, or maybe you've had it in the past and you want to get it again. Uh, we'll cover this update. It's got two parts to it, so we'll run into that very shortly. The first things first is... There is a Medium article that's been posted on the Stonksy Medium as well. So if you want to go and have a read through of that, you'll find that on the Stonksy Medium. Um, so yeah, go and check that out and have a read through after the video just so you can you know, have a different um, view on that as well. So yeah, first things first, how do you update Stonksy? Well, uh, if you haven't updated your Stonksy yet, if you go along here and you will have a little icon here that says Update Available. If you go to More, which is the three dots, and then you'll in this section here, you'll have an option to update your script. Now, once you've done that, you'll have the latest version of Stonksy. Now, this um, update comes with two parts to it. So there's alternative time frame settings and there is bullish and bearish arrow settings. Now, so the first things first is the alternative time frame. Now, what is this? Basically, in the simplest terms is when you're looking at a time frame, say I've got the one hour open here, you can add a second time frame to see any uh, background indications that are going on while you're still looking at the one hour so as you can see here i've got the five minutes selected and yeah it comes up with when it goes short when it's got no trade and when it goes long on the five minute now you can change this to any time frame that you wish so for instance if you wanted to go on the 10 minute chart and you wanted to have the one minute indications on there perfectly up to you you can do whatever you want however if you don't want them on at all and you think I like Stonksy the way it is, or maybe you just want to use the second part of the update, you can turn these off, which will make them disappear like that. And you don't have to have them on. It's perfectly up to you. But yeah, that is the first part. Now, the sensitivity, this is a customizable uh, feature within the alternative time frame settings. And basically what you want is for lower time frame, uh, second uh, time frames that you have on your chart, you want the setting for this to be lower because you want it to be more sensitive to unfolding price action. If you have in high time frame, so say for instance, if we are gonna have, uh, for instance, the, day, the daily, let's select the daily, you would want this to be higher, so let's say put that at 10. And that's basically what it is, low time frame, high time frame adjustment, because you want the, you know, the, the highest confidence, the most confirmation on uh, the unfolding trades that we've got open. So that's the sensitivity for you there. Just remember, if you're looking to scalp or whatever it may be, you want the sensitivity to be lower. High time frames, you can up that sensitivity, but you can customize it for yourself as well. Now, the second part of the update, if I just turn them off, is the bullish and bearish arrow settings. But before we do dive into that, I will just let you know that the uh, alternative time frame settings is available on the alert, as is the background color change. So obviously, Stonksy users will know you can set alerts for when the background changes from red to green from no trade to green etc all available in the condition here but we have added alternative time frame turn green red neutral so you can have that so for instance you know you've got the one hour on and you have for the five minutes selected you can opt for an alert to pop up on your phone or you know a pop up on your desktop whatever it may be for the alternative time frame also triggering um, a change in the background so that is perfectly up to you. You can set that. And then, as always, you can set it only once for it only to occur once, once per bar close, which means it will tell you every single time that happens, once per bar, once per minute. But these two are the ones you want to pay attention to, whether you just want it to happen once or if you want it to happen each time that that happens. So that is there available for you. And that will pop up in your alerts section here, as usual. As you can see, here's one that I put on earlier. And there it is, alternative time frame, turn green, the one hour, and then the condition for that was the five minute as the alternative time frame. So that's everything for the first part of the update. Now, if we go to the second part of the update, which is the bullish and bearish arrows, uh, this is pretty much just uh, a secondary indication for momentum and aiding users with, you know, uh, taking trades while you maybe following the background color change or if you're just looking for that extra confirmation in there. So for instance, as you can see here, I've got the one hour open. Now, the one hour gave the bullish arrow on Friday, which then we had the upside move. As you can see here, the background changed before that. Now I have 
the sensitivity set at 8, which is obviously a, a higher number, this goes up to 10. So I will get pretty much all the alerts that are available on the one hour when you have it at the highest sensitivity that you can have it. Now the confirmation period, this goes uh, higher than the sensitivity. And basically what it is, is it waits for the trigger to be confirmed with another bar. So if you want it straight away, you would obviously put one for getting the alert straight away as it comes through. As you can see here, it's changed to there. And the arrow actually changed from up here because I upped the sensitivity as well. Uh, but yes, so if you want, you know, a bit more confirmation, say we change that to four. As you can see, it will jump up to there. So it will give higher uh, confirmation on this move, but also it might get you potentially in later as well. Now, this is something that you can have a mess around with and, you know, develop it to your trading style or as high as you want the sensitivity or the confirmation period to be. But pretty much the higher the number on the confirmation uh, period means the more confirmation that it has behind the belief that it's in a, a bearish spell, a bullish spell, whatever it may be. Now, if we go to, say, the five-minute chart, and we'll load that up. As you can see here, because I've got the sensitivity on high, I believe I've got it on high. Let me just double-check what out. Yes, on 10. Now, if I up, say I change this down to 2 on the confirmation period, as you can see, the arrows change. So you can have a look through. See here, it went bearish, caught a slight drop down, went bullish here, caught the run-up, uh, and, and flip-flops around when you're in consolidation as well. But basically, what it aims is to just to provide more strings to the bow of stonks to users in catching market moves alongside the background color change, the automated SR levels, and all the other features that we have within Stonksy. So apart from that, um, yeah, you would basically just have a play around for the time frame. So if, if you're a scalper, I imagine you'll probably be using the five minute, three minute, and one minute, let's say. Then you can just go around, have a little uh, play around with the settings, and decide what settings work best for you, whether you up the sensitivity, lower it, uh, have the confirmation period on the lowest it can be, so you want to get into the trades as soon as they, they come up with the bullish and bearish icons. Um, and, yeah, there's no alerts for these. So, like, there's alerts for the alternative time frame settings. There are no alerts for the bullish and bearish arrows. So, yeah, a bit less, you know, complex in there, uh, meaning that we keep everything nice and tight together for the background colour change alerts alongside having them alternative time frames in there as well. And we don't kind of overlap it too much to where it obviously becomes a bit too complicated for, say, a beginner to use as well. Now, these work obviously on lower and high time frames across the board, as does Stonksy. So, you know, from the one minute chart all up to the to the weekly. And also it works across all crypto, stocks, indices, FX, commodities, as does the Stonksy indication. So, yeah, pretty much you just have to uh, not the confirmation period up or down to suit how maybe maybe how it's looking for your trading style or trading system while you're using Stonksy, or maybe just how you see it. If you think, oh, it looks really good when you know you have the confirmation period on three and ten, whatever it may be, you can have that. Um, but yeah, what you can opt for is just maybe you know you have the sensitivity on low, and then you just see how it goes. So we'll put that on one. Obviously, there's not many confirmation, but as you can see here, it got um, into the bullish icon and then caught the move up. And then what you wanted, maybe think uh, there's not enough there for me though. You know, you could just slowly up it. So up to two, it takes it a bit further down. So it caught the move slightly earlier. And then you could just up it as you go on. It, and, you know, you'll come to a sensitivity that suits you. As you can see here, it caught it all the way down here. This was on, was it on five, I believe? Yes, on five. And then we did get the bearish um, icon coming down here, which has caught this drop so far as well. So that is the two updates for you. And that's uh, the latest version of Stonksy. So for those of you that do use Stonksy, you'll know that these updates come free to users. There's no extra charge for us pushing these out. As with the other um, updates that we've done, we've set the alerts. We've set the uh, automated SR lines. We've now released this two-part update as well. So it's two updates into one. And the, this all come free to existing Stonksy users. There's no charge. So if you do want to sign up for Stonksy, click that link in the description and sign up. You do also get access to the Discord server as part of the package. And if you are looking for a place, you know, to hit your 2025 trading goals, do click the link in the description to sign up to Blowfin as well. It's the best exchange for you to trade, tra buy and sell your spot, uh, to hit your futures targets. You know, if you're maybe looking to do a challenge account with using Stonksy as well. Um, do sign up to Blowfin. It's a non-KYC exchange, which means you just sign up with an email address. There's no ID verification. 
and you can sign up in under 60 seconds through that method and deposit straight away. You can also use it worldwide by using a VPN. They do have a mobile app. And if you want to sleep well at night, all assets are custodied in Fireblock. So all users are back one to one, 100%. Um, there's no fear of that. So if you want a trusted, perfect exchange with the best user interface, best user experience in the industry, do sign up to Blowfin. And we are um, releasing the Stonksy bot as well within Blowfin. So if you do have Stonksy and you're not set that signed up to Blowfin, do make sure you click that Stonksy link so you're all set for when we release that. And if you're not already, maybe you're thinking about getting Stonksy and you know maybe you come into my live streams and you've not yet signed up, do make sure that you uh, sign up to Blowfin and do your trading on there in the meantime. So that's pretty much everything for today. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comments or drop us an email and I will uh, get to them and I'll answer the questions to the best of my ability. Or you can come find me in my live streams every day of the week and answer, uh, ask any questions that you've got in there and come and join the live streams. It's a lot of fun and we will be covering, obviously, a lot of the recent updates in the uh, coming week on the live streams. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining. Do make sure you drop a like and drop a subscribe. And that's everything for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.